the walruses. Now they too are very remote. Hardly anybody gets to see real walruses in real life, but there's tens of thousands of them. They're definitely not in danger of any extinction. They've, their numbers have grown substantially because they're not being hunted by the Inuit like they were uh, before modern civilization arrived in the Arctic. And uh, so there's, there, there's scads of them. Some of the herds are 10,000 and more. And uh, they come ashore on the land sometimes in the Arctic summer. And David Attenborough and the BBC are pushing the idea that the reason they're coming on the land is because there's not enough ice for them anymore. That they, they, the ice is melting. Well, the ice is, this is on the sh north of, of Russia, which covers a big part of the Arctic. And there's many, many herds of, of walruses along the north shore of, of Russia, which doesn't have all these islands like Canada does. It's basically just the land ends there. And there's this big Arctic sea. They have, a, they have the biggest Arctic sea of any country by far. And uh, they have icebreakers going across the north there all year round, keeping the shipping open between Murmansk and Vladivostok on the mm -hmm. east coast. And uh, so th there's all these walruses come ashore. And why do they come ashore? Well, because the ice recedes away from the land. And walruses are bottom feeders. Mm -hmm. So why would they want to be on ice where the water's a thousand feet deep? Right. right? They can't dive that far down. They only go down a hundred feet or so. So they come on land so that they can go and fish. For mm -hmm. They eat uh, clams and things they dig. That's why they have those tusks, is to dig the bottom. There's, yeah, just like uh, they're excavating. Mm -hmm. They excavate the clams and, and shrimp and mud shrimp and other things out of the mud, uh, and that's their diet. So it's natural that they come on the land. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, last year, uh, they filmed, well, I think it might have been two years ago now, they filmed this scene of walruses falling off a cliff right. to their death. Apparently, over the period of time, there was a couple of hundred out of these many thousands who fell off the cliff. And they said, it was like as if they, they were saying that the walruses are committing suicide because there's not enough ice and they have to come on the land and go up on a cliff and jump, jump off. Yeah, because of climate change. Exactly. The real reason the walruses jumped off the cliff was because a, a pack of 30 polar bears came from behind from the land. And now what would you rather do? Be mauled and eaten alive by a polar bear or jump to your death off a cliff, right? That's quite the choice, but I think I know what I'd do. Yeah. I would jump off the cliff hoping I might survive. And well, or that you might get to the, might jump far enough to get to the water. They didn't. They're, it was, and, and it, they made it seem as though the walruses had desperately climbed up this cliff in the first place. They didn't. There's a perfect, if you see a bigger picture, there's a perfect, inclined plane right. on the land to get up to, you know, they just sort of lumber along right. and they lumbered up to the top of this cliff, which there was so many of them that there wasn't enough room for all of them right on the beach. Right. And there they were and the polar bears came. But th there's no picture of the polar bears in any of David Attenborough's footage, right? He denies this to this day. He, he just went quiet.